we are going to look at an example of a typical physics problem. In this problem we have Pistol Pete and the OSU crew decided to travel to the OU Texas game to see OU's defeat. That's because OSU and OU have a rivalry like A&M and UT. They are leaving at 8 a.m. going to Dallas. If they are traveling at 90 kilometers per hour, will they make the 11 a.m. kickoff? Stillwater is 300.9 kilometers from the Red River and then another 437.7 kilometers to the Cotton Bowl. Will they make kickoff? If not, how much time do they need? The first thing you need to look at is what information do they give you. So, what do they give us? They give us velocity. They give us times. And they give us distances. Okay. What are they wanting to know? Will they make it? How much time do they need? So they're also wanting a time. How much time, or did they make it in time? Did they have too much time? What's going on? So the first thing we do is write down our notes. We know velocity is equal to 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, we know time is going to be a total of, if they leave at 8 a.m. and they're wanting to get there by 11 a.m., you have time initial, which is 8 a.m., time final, which is 11 a.m. you have two distances. What do those two distances mean? Well, if you think about it, Oklahoma is here, and then you have Texas. Okay, They are driving from up here to here, and then down to Texas. They give you two distances. The first distance is 300.9 kilometers. The second distance is the rest of the trip, which is 437.7 kilometers. Well, they want to know, will they make kickoff? Do we really know dis need distances now? No. Distance is too much information. We need to know how far they will be able to drive in their time limits. So the time limit is our deciding factor. And what equation do we need? We need one specific equation that has velocity, distance, and time. So we know velocity is equal to the change in distance divided by the change in time. So the change in time, change in time would be time final minus time initial. Well, we know time final was 11 a.m. minus time initial, 8 a.m. So 11 minus 8 is 3 hours. We know velocity. They're traveling at 90 kilometers per hour. We know formula. Velocity is equal to the distance divided by time. Our change in distance over the change in time. So we put in what we know. We know 90 is equal to the change in distance divided by our change in time we know is 3 hours. 
So divided by 3. We want change in distance. So what do we do? Multiply all by 3. So we get 90 times 3 equals the change in distance divided by 3 multiplied by 3. Okay, our 3's cancel. So that gives us our change in distance is going to be equal to 90 times 3, which is 270 kilometers. So that's how far they travel in that three hour time span. Well, do they make the cotton bowl? This is where our distances come into play. We know from Stillwater to the river was 300.7 kilometers. That's our distance one. In our formula, we found that the distance they could travel, or the change in distance, which is the distance traveled, was 270. Kilometers. So they haven't even made it out of Oklahoma. They're still in Oklahoma. So what time should they have really left at? So we need to look at the total distance that it would take. When we add our two distances, we find the total distance to get from Stillwater to the Cotton Bowl is 738.61 kilometers. We know they are traveling at a velocity of 90 kilometers per hour. So we are trying to find time. How long does it take them? We know our formula is velocity is equal to distance divided by time. We know 90 is equal to 738.61 divided by time. Multiply both sides by t to get the time off the bottom. So we get 90t equals 738.61. If we divide both sides by 90, that gives us our time. So we find that time is equal. Time is then equal to the 700 and 38.61 divided by 90. When you put that into calculator, you get the time 8.21 hours. We're going to round to make how much, what time should they have left at a little bit easier. So we're going to take it to 8 hours and 30 minutes. Okay? So that's the time it would take. Well, what time to leave OSU? Well, that would be 11 hours minus 8.5, which tells us Mr. Pistol Pete and his crew should have left at 2.30 in the morning.
two and a half hours. A.M. To get to Dallas in time for kickoff. 